Alrighty, so general conference is nearly upon us. Um, I hate the fact that it's kind of feeling a little um, last minute uh, rushing to get this one done. But um, I want to kind of go through a little bit of a Lucisaurus and Patrick Kieran's talks from last conference. And um, Lucisaurus was covenant confidence through Jesus Christ. And Patrick Kieran's talk was God's intent is to bring you home. And with the Lucisaurus, his talk a lot focuses on the confidence that we can have through Jesus Christ as we make covenants with him in the temple, with baptism. And the example, one of the examples that he gives is Nephi and how he always had confidence in the promises that the Lord gave him. He was given the promise that he would be able to obtain the golden, the brass plates from Laban. And he wasn't successful the first two times, but he wasn't discouraged because he knew the Lord keeps his promises. And one of the things is like, that makes me think is there are so many times where I feel like I'm not as happy as I should be. I'm not obtaining the mercy that I feel like I should be. And um, one of the things that Patrick, Elder Patrick Karen mentions is he's a, he says, what do God's messengers, his prophets, call this plan in restoration scripture? The whole entire plan that, G, that God has for everybody. And he says, they call it the plan of redemption, the plan of mercy, the great plan of happiness, and the plan of salvation, which is unto all through the blood of mine only begotten. The only begotten being Jesus Christ. And like I kind of said, it's like sometimes I don't feel like I'm as happy as I should be. I'm not obtaining the mercy I should be. And I sometimes wonder whether or not um, I'm obtaining salvation. But what he says next is absolutely one of the most amazing things to remember. He says, the intent of the Father's great plan of happiness is your happiness. Right here, right now, and in the eternities. It is not to prevent your happiness and cause you instead worry and fear. The intent of the Father's plan of redemption is in fact your redemption. Your being rescued through the sufferings and death of Jesus Christ, freed from the captivity of sin and death, it is not to leave you as you are. The intent of the Father's plan of mercy is to extend mercy as you turn back to him and honor your covenant of fidelity to him. It is not to deny mercy or to deny mercy and inflict pain and sorrow. The intent of the Father's plan of salvation is in fact your salvation in the celestial kingdom of glory as you receive the testimony of Jesus and offer your whole soul to him. It is not to keep you out. When we make covenants, and I love how he mentions like turn back to him and honor covenant of fidelity to him. So when we make covenants, Heavenly Father knows we're not going to be perfect in it, but he wants us to do the absolute best we can to be obedient and completely fit, um, have complete fidelity to him. Meaning we're not going to try to turn and make excuses to not keep a covenant, but we're going to try to make every excuse to keep it when everyone else is trying to convince us to break it. I hope that we'll have the confidence in Jesus Christ through the covenants that we make, whether baptism in the temple or even a covenant when he asks us to do something that is completely random. <laughs> I hope you will have the confidence that it is for our happiness. 
It is because he's extending to us mercy. He is trying to bring about our salvation and our redemption so that we can be as he is and that we can come to know him. I'm truly grateful to have the prophets and the apostles to speak to us and to remind us that the very plan that God gave us is one that will bring about great happiness to all. That there isn't a single soul that won't find the kingdom of glory. And that there's going to be so much happiness. I'm grateful for prophets and apostles to remind us how much God loves us and how much he is wanting us to be better and how much he's willing to help us to be better. So please tune in to General Conference. I know this one's coming out almost right before it starts. But if you see this and you missed the first session, tune in for the next session at 12 or the next one if you didn't see it see this video until after that tune in <laughs> sorry no it's at two it's at 10 o'clock two o'clock six o'clock on today on saturday and then 10 o'clock and two o'clock tomorrow on sunday tune in for the sessions i know it's a lot but it is so worth it and it is some of the it's honestly my super bowl weekend and I know they're a call of God. I know that they are speaking the truth the best that they can. They're imperfect, but they are inspired and they know how much God loves us and they want to convey it to us. And I hope you feel it, especially in this dark and dreary world that we sometimes live in. But I know if we listen to their words and apply their teachings, we will be able to see the happiness that God is giving us. We will be able to feel the mercy, feel the redemption, and obtain salvation through the atonement of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.